Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Rashad Landers, and I'm back with another video, bro. I'm trying a new camera angle. See how this this talk. No mind in dorm room, bro. For those of you who don't know, I go to the University of Arkansas. Uh, we're finna get up out of here in a minute. Uh, freshman year officially about to be done, so that's kind of crazy to me. Uh, it was a great freshman year. Sports are winning and stuff like that, so you know, can't complain. Uh, yeah, probably got about, I'm leaving in like May, so it's the April 13th right now, so that tells you, you know, finals coming up. I've been busy with college all this semester, but a lot of you guys are asking when's the next video, so today's the video, I got my laptop right here as usual, you know, trusty laptop so I can talk, have my facts to back me up, because if you don't have your facts, bro, what are you doing? So, um, today's video is UCLA, and, uh, I saw a lot of people wondering, how is UCLA coming in at number two or number one? Some sources, a lot of sources had UCLA in the top five and uh, people were wondering why and this and this and that, they were a Cinderella team, they were inconsistent all year. What a lot of people forget is UCLA did that without two starters, basically in Jalen Hill and Chris Smith, who uh, Chris Smith, I've watched him for a long time. Uh, since he was a freshman on UCLA, I used to be a roster uh, surfer. So I would look at, um, team's rosters any power five team i looked at rosters that's how i know a lot of players and i always saw Jalen hill listed as a six nine guard and i'm like whoa what so i always checked him out even though he would play like the four so uh not Jalen hill chris smith I always saw him as a six nine guard that'd be interesting because he's one of the topics of uh this ucla team next year if he will come back or not um as well as um Jalen Hill, both of them decide to return. As you guys know, the transfer portal is active. Um, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Smith was a senior, um, if I'm correct. But either way, you know, yeah, so Smith was a senior. You see, 6'9 guard on the roster, bro. He averaged 12 and 6, for those who didn't know. He averaged 12 and 6, by the way. And uh, Johnny Juzang had an incredible tournament. Um, he actually was lead, finished leading scorer, 16 points per game for them. Uh, but when you look at the team, it's about the returning core. Hummy Hawkins, leading rebounder, returning Tiger Campbell, obviously one of the best point guards in college basketball when it comes to facilitating. He comes back as well. Uh, Hawkins led him in steals, and Cody Riley, who led him in blocks, he's most likely to return as well. So that right there was, you think about it, three starters uh, that we got to watch in the NCAA tournament uh, who's going to be returning. And then uh, Jules Bernard should be returning as well. So four starters right there. Um, and then I would be on Johnny Juzang if he were returning. Now, if he is to return, this team is no doubt top five. Um, if not, I think they can remain there. Um, because, uh, you know, losing one player, it can hurt at times, especially with a player with the capability of Juzang, which we saw. Um, but I think the impact that he had could be filled by... One of the other guards that's returning on the roster, we have David Singleton. Um, Jalen Clark, who plays kind of like Jalen Clark, you can see him at the four uh, sometimes. He's on about 6'3". He's kind of their glue guy. I call him a glue guard, which is very rare because uh, um, you mostly see like those glue guys be like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, which is how it was for us in Arkansas this year with Justin Spiff. Uh, we barely lost when he played the whole year. Uh, but if you look at those guys... Um, they could feel in that spot. Uh, Mac ETN probably break out Kenneth and Wobble if he stays, you know what I'm saying? Um, those couple bigs. But if Hill and Smith returns, they'll be right back there, you know, in that big man category. When Cody Riley went out, it was kind of a who struggle to see who would Mick Cronin would go to. Um, but another talk, you look at recruiting classes as well. And uh, they only have two players coming in as of right now uh, in their recruiting class. And one is Peyton Watson, who I want to talk about. Uh, who could possibly play that Juzang role. Now, uh, he's got an inch on Juzang, 6'7", and um, like reported, like if you look at 24-7 ESPN, they say he's 6'7", but I got word uh, from a couple of sources that he's actually 6'9", so I'll be interested to see. I wouldn't be surprised if you see 6'8 on the roster next year for him. Uh, he's a very interesting guard who can play that role that Juzang played, and UCLA likes those mid-ranges, so you know how that goes. And Watson, you know, he has that. He believes in himself, for one. He has extremely high confidence. So don't be surprised if, you know, he does something crazy next year. Or, you know, if he just plays well, comes in and plays well. This is a guy that could go first round, honestly, in the next draft 
which I've been telling people that next draft class, if a lot of uh, college kids stay, you're going to see a lot of older college guys get drafted because the high school class, there's not many one and dones in my opinion. Overseas will probably take over that draft too next year. Um, but yeah, Peyton Watson, very interesting prospect, honestly, very intriguing prospect. And then Will McClendon, who I've been watching since, uh, probably his sophomore year, another kid from the West coast. Um, interesting guard it said about six two to that six four range i'm not sure because his hair he has you know dreads and stuff that can give you an inch or two i've seen six two i've seen six four i think he's six four if you look at his build um but he's another guard who can just do anything to win um great skill set offensively when it comes to handling the ball kind of a weird jump shot but it goes in i got to watch him who paul west i believe one time so it'll be another interesting guy to see how it plays out i think ucla uh if they once they found themselves, they found themselves in the tournament. So if they keep that intensity, um, they're no doubt a top five team. When you think about it, they know what they can achieve. They know who they can beat. Now they know who they can compete with. Um, they struggle with injuries all throughout the season. So if this team gets healthy and if they're able to put it together, then there's no shocker that you know UCLA would be you know right where I'm expecting them to be in my preseason rankings, which I had them at two. Um, I had Gonzaga at one. Uh, I'll get into that later. A lot of people wondering how is Gonzaga going to be good again? Why are they number one every year? I mean, they just they just put it together on paper, man. <laughs> they put it together on paper. They just haven't won the national championship or had the run to just prove it yet. Uh, but yeah, this UCLA team, man. Honestly, I can see them at top of the Pac-12 next year. Um, not too so. We are not sold on anyone. A uh, Final Four team or not going to have to wait until the season starts for that but um if you look at them right now is this a final four team with the pieces that have the final four experience no doubt um if my projection as of right now way too early projection in ncaa tournament i would say anywhere from elite eight to final four at the most elite eight to final four so elite eight to least final four at the most um so yeah this is how i feel about ucla this is the scoop that a lot of people wanted to hear. A lot of people needed to hear, maybe, however you took it. Uh, Mick Cronin, an incredible coach, man. Um, Tiger Campbell, an incredible point guard. There's players all around over there. It's going to be interesting to watch them in the Conference of Champions. Shout out to Bill Walton, man. Shout out to Bill Walton. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to share this video, man. Um, try to get consistent. I may start recording multiple videos in a day so I can just upload them in that way and not have to worry about recording them and then doing the thumbnails and then uploading them. And then, you know, got to retweet and post my videos everywhere so you guys can see them and know that I've uploaded. Uh, so I might just start recording multiple videos in a day to cut the process down uh, and actually try to, you know, become consistent. I always say this all the time, bro. Just one day is going to happen. I promise you one day is going to happen. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And please be sure to share it. Uh, we're trying to do something with this, man. We're trying to elevate this channel back to the view. The views have always been great. I can say that. The views have always been great. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to subscribers and likes, you know, you guys should leave a, leave, leave a like, bro. Leave a like and subscribe for me, bro. But, yeah, I appreciate all the support in general. I just appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel, whether you watch the video for a long time or a short time. Really do appreciate you guys. Next video, um, drop a team in the comment section who, who you would like me to do, honestly, because I can do any team, most likely. Uh, Transfer Portal, keep your uh, notifications on. Uh, follow me on Twitter, all that in the channel description, but I'll uh, drop it below as well. And like I said, you guys have a good one, man. Peace.